Hey guys, so you've been searching in the Raleigh area for a brand new home and you're not finding anything that is within your budget. Well, stay tuned because I'm in the town of Zebulon today and we're gonna check out the top three brand new communities. So stay tuned. Okay guys, right now I'm over in Zebulon over at the Weaver's Pond community. This is a massive community that was started back about 2007. Right now, there are about 400 completed homes out here. Plans call for about a thousand total homes to be developed out here when the neighborhood is fully completed. Right now, your typical home out of Weaver's Pond is gonna be a four bedroom, three bath home, measuring out at around 22 to 2,500 square feet in size. Today, I wanted to let you guys in on a new section of Weaver's Pond that's undergoing current construction right now. This is gonna contain about a 43 acre uh, site for new homes. There's plans calling for around 100 to 140 additional homes in this new section. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go through the existing phase of Weaver's Pond. We're gonna check out everything that's been built up to this point. And then we're gonna go over to the new section and check out a 43 acre site that's just been cleared. They're gonna be putting about 100 to 110 new homes over here. So let's go check it out. Okay guys, right now we're driving past the community swimming pool. This is a zero front entry, junior Olympic size swimming pool. The pool has a spray and splash water feature for the kids. There's also competitive swim lanes if you wanna you know, get some good exercise in. There's a pergola swim deck where you can sun and there's covered seating areas. There's a cabana style bathhouse out here. It's really awesome. Okay guys, right now we're driving through the existing homeowner community within Weaver's Pond. Again, these homes are you know, range anywhere from 2007 all the way up to, um, you know, around probably the last home that was built out here was a couple months ago, so 20, early 2022. Weaver's Pond in Zebulon is going to be a really good option for you if you've maybe looked in Raleigh and you just haven't found anything affordable. This isn't going to be a really bad drive into Raleigh. If you work in downtown Raleigh, you're about 30 to 35 minutes from here. As you can see, there's a lot of little pocket parks around here for the kids, swing set areas. It's got mulch, so you know, your kids aren't gonna get hurt out here. One of the things I really like about Weaver's Pond is the fact that, hence the name, there's actually a couple of ponds out here. Uh, there's one really large pond in the center of the existing portion of the community. Uh, there's also another uh, pond that is over by the estate section within Weaver's Pond. Okay guys, what you're really gonna like about Weaver's Pond is the pricing. So yeah, you're not in you know, downtown Raleigh, you know, you're, you're kinda out on the outskirts a little bit, um, but your pricing out here, your typical home in the new section, all the prices have not yet been officially released. Um, you're probably looking at around a typical four bedroom, three bath home, costing probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 600 to 650. Weaver's Pond is out in Zebulon right off of Interstate 264 and US 64. So you're gonna be able to get in and out of um, downtown Zebulon pretty quick. There's, uh, there's at least three shopping centers within probably 10 minutes of here. There's a pretty good diversity in uh, home styles out here. You're gonna have four bedroom, three bath, two story homes, two car garages. You're also gonna find um, quite a few homes that are ranch style uh, one story homes, which are pretty difficult to find in the triangle right now. Also, there's um, one and a half story homes where you've got, uh, it's pretty much a ranch style home, but on the second level, you've got like a bonus room area or a media room area where you have extra storage and uh, some extra space. Okay guys, right now we're over in the townhome section of Weaver's Pond. This is being built by Dan Ryan Homes. Right now they are um, building three separate uh, designs, the Winchester, the York, and the Alden. These are gonna range in size anywhere between 1,250 square feet all the way up to around 1,567 square feet. These are gonna be three bedroom, two bath, three bedroom, two and a half bath. Um, you're gonna have a garage option over here the prices have not yet been released. Um, my guess is based on some of the townhomes by Dan Ryan over in Wendell Falls, these will probably, if I'm guessing correctly, I would say somewhere in the 400K range, but uh, don't quote me on that. Give me a call if you're interested. Um, when uh, pricing is released, I'll let you know. 
Okay guys, over in Zebulon, just about maybe two minutes north of downtown Zebulon, right along the US 264-64 interchange area is the Barrington community. This is phenomenal. Uh, this is a brand new community that's just undertaken construction maybe within the last year, year and a half. There's tons of new construction that's upcoming. I'm gonna take you guys through and show you a little bit about what's going on, what's already been constructed, and what's planned for the community. All right, let's go check it out. The Barrington community over in Zebulon is gonna be a really good option for you if you wanna be really close to downtown Raleigh. From here, you're right at the uh, intersection of US 264 and US 64. You can be at the interchange in about maybe, maybe three to five minutes really convenient uh from there you can get into downtown raleigh really uh quick re relatively quickly depending on the time of day you can also be in um the area where you're going to get on i-540 uh within probably 15 minutes or so so that's going to take you around the entire triangle area looking at this uh on paper i would say it's probably going to be the most exciting neighborhood community to come to zebulon ever since Weaver, uh, Weaver's Pond was developed. This is gonna be phenomenal. There's gonna be uh, multiple sections within the community. You're gonna have, um, there's a couple of builders that are building townhomes in here. Uh, Herring Homes is one of the builders. Capital City Homes is another. They're both doing the townhome communities within here. There are also gonna be structures known as carriage homes. A carriage home is basically a home that is like a, like a patio home, for example. It's going to be a smaller home. It's going to be on a very small lot. Um, most of your living quarters is going to be on the upper levels with the uh, first level being pretty much a garage area. The townhomes in this community are going to start out in the three hundred dollars to $400,000 range, while the carriage homes, otherwise known as what I call a patio home, is going to range anywhere between four and 500000 Most of your single family homes out here that are built by HH Hunt they're gonna start out in the mid 500s and go on up from there. Right now, as you can see, they're starting work on the community swimming pool, which is gonna be pretty incredible. There's gonna be a kid's playground area. Uh, there's, I believe there's gonna be a snack area for drinks and uh, uh, food, beverages, that type of thing. Along with the swimming pool, there's gonna be a 2,700 square foot clubhouse, which is gonna be pretty incredible. The swimming pool is gonna be a junior size swimming pool. One of the things I really like about this neighborhood, it's going to have almost 100 acres of open space. You're going to have almost 10 miles of community sidewalks. It's going to be a really great area for families with little kids that want to ride their bikes and that type of thing. Probably the most prolific builder out here right now for single family detached homes is going to be HH Homes. The typical home they're building out here right now is going to be four bed, two and a half bath. Ranging in size, probably the typical home is gonna be around 32 to 3,500 square feet. As I was saying in Barrington, construction has only been going on now for just a short amount of time. There's only been a handful of single family homes that have sold, maybe a few more townhomes and carriage homes. So I would say over the next two years or so, you're gonna um, find a lot of opportunities out here. They're releasing homes pretty slowly as they uh, get closer to completion. That's when they're um, having a release of maybe two or three homes at a time. As of today, there's actually two homes that you can um, make an offer on out here. So, hey, if you wanna get to the Raleigh area really quickly, give me a call because these homes are gonna go quick. Hey guys, if you wanna be in the Raleigh area, less than 35 to 40 minutes from downtown Raleigh, on a home lot that measures over three acres in size, then you gotta come out here and check out paddocks at Woodford and Zebulon. Being within 35 minutes or so from downtown Raleigh on lots that are this huge is literally unheard of right now, especially starting at around 600,000. Uh, these are all custom homes. All these homes are custom built by Brandywine Homes and Worth Taylor Homes. This is gonna be a true custom build if you uh, build out here. This is an incredible neighborhood. You're gonna find homes out here with both two and three car garage options. There's only 13 lots out here, so you're not gonna find you know, an, an amenity center or a community pool or just not enough room out here for it. But the thing that they had in mind when they designed the neighborhood was they, they knew they were gonna get bigger lots, one to three acres, the smallest lot out here is like one acre. 
Um, so they were designed with the fact that most people were probably going to want to put their own swimming pools out here. So you're going to find, I don't even see one lot out here that you probably could not put a pool in. So this is just going to be a phenomenal opportunity. One of the things that's going to blow your mind is this is one of the few equestrian communities in the entire Triangle area. So if you have horses or have a desire to have a horse, then you're going to be able to keep, keep them out here at your home without having to board them somewhere. So that's pretty rare in the Triangle area right now, especially 35 minutes from downtown Raleigh. Hey guys, here at 75 Paddocks Court in Paddocks at Woodford Subdivision, you're gonna find over on lot number eight, this incredible home, custom built, built by Worth Taylor Construction. This home has a first floor master suite with a guest suite downstairs, hardwoods throughout. You're gonna have granite countertops, custom cabinetry. There's an oversized kitchen island with a breakfast bar, tile backsplash, all stainless steel appliances walk-in shower with a shower bench, custom shelving. There's private access to a laundry room here. There's a giant open family room area with cathedral ceiling. Um, this home is gonna measure out at around 2,856 square feet, four bed, three full baths. Guys, you're on a lot that's nearly two acres in size. This home is currently listed for $675,000. There are homes that I advertise on my channel all the time that are well over 675 that are not nearly, you're not gonna nearly get what you're gonna get with this one. I mean, yeah, you are in Zebulon that's a little farther out, but again, you can probably be in downtown Raleigh, seriously, well within 45 minutes. You're, it's probably gonna be more like 35, depending on the time of day. But uh, if this is something that is of interest, definitely give me a call, it's for sale today. Hey guys, if you want to copy my 56 page relocation guide to the triangle, just drop a comment in the comment section below. I'll shoot you out a PDF version. And whatever you do, get Mike and get moved.